Hello and welcome to Goat Silk's Daily Treasures. Today is a first and a last. A last in that we won't be offering any more daily treasures and a first in that we've never offered anything quite like what we have today. If there's anything true about human beings across cultures and time, it's that one, we fret and fear over death and run from it in multiple ways our whole life. Another thing that's true is that we try and cultivate beauty, art, architecture, gardening, sewing, fashion, cosmetics, plastic surgery, music. These are all ways in which we try and inject and cultivate beauty in our immediate surroundings. The thing that I think is interesting is that the most gorgeous, beautiful, graceful things in the world contain both of these things. Never is there a gorgeous thing that you look at that doesn't tinge your heart with a little bit of sadness. And I think today's object is a perfect example of one of those things. Come down and look here and you'll see exactly what I mean. It's shocking to see this part of an animal. It's very rare to see any bit of an animal separate from the whole carcass. And especially in this sort of preserved shape where you have the fur, the hoof, and the bone exposed. Let me hold it up so you can get a look get a look at it. Um, now the fur, the bone, and the hoof, anybody could recognize these as potent materials. Native cultures, primitive people all over, they see these as sort of shamanistic materials containing powers for healing and for giving us strength. Note also the shape. It's in the number seven. Seven, of course, is a lucky number across time, across cultures. There seems to be something about the number seven that captures the imagination of human beings. You wonder how could this piece of an animal have ended up here? The beautiful grace of a deer is shocking when it's sort of swiped off from the earth. So it intrigues me to think about how it could have met its demise. A deer has a hard life and many natural and unnatural enemies. Bear, eagles even, are all animals that the, that the deer needs to be afraid of. Uh, its life can also be snuffed out by a hunter or even a fast moving truck or car that's going down the highway as the deer happens to be crossing to get some grass on the other side. So, it's a very potent, heart-wrenching thing to see, and I believe that whoever wins this will be able to tap into that power and will be able to appreciate this beauty tinged with the sadness that captivates all peoples. Have a look at this auction and bid on this item. You won't find another one like this on eBay or anywhere else. To bring out the more shamanistic and even glorious aspects of this object, I'm going to be coating it in pure gold and then attaching a set of peacock feathers. This will add to the ritualistic aspects of it and make this a very desirable fetish. Place your bids early and keep in mind that there will not be any other of these daily treasures auctions coming up. This will be probably a very popular item. Thanks to all of you who followed, cheered, and purchased Goat Silk's Daily Treasures. Keep your eyes peeled for more Goat Silk projects coming almost immediately. And as always, happy bidding.